Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first video of mine that you have ever clicked on. Today we are doing my August update for my 2022 project pan. If this is the first video of mine that you've ever clicked on, I will link my project pan playlist up in the eye and you can go see it from the introduction through to where we are today because we are now in the eighth month of the year so we're getting on to the final stretch of it. If you're not a regular viewer, you may not know, I went to London at the start of July and I made it back fine, but my luggage did not. So there is a little bit less progress this update than I would have liked because certain products were in that suitcase and I didn't actually get them back until it was 4th of August that my luggage was returned on. So a little bit impacted by that, but you know what, that's one month out of 12 months that I will have had to work on these products by the time we hit the finale so we're just not going to get bogged down in it, we're going to be positive and let's get into the progress we did make this month. If you watched my Beauty Rehab Reflections video, you heard me talking about this palette. I didn't realise until this palette was in my lost luggage and I sort of really contemplated like the idea of not getting it back and losing all the work I've done on it, how much I actually really like project panning or even though it's frustrating at times and I maybe don't always like the process of project panning, like I love the satisfaction when the job is done. Um, not so much that the product is done but just when I actually get month to month to look at the snapshots, that's when I really enjoy it and seeing just that little bit of progress being made. The other thing about that was that project panning stopped me buying a new blush when I was in London because I knew I wanted to work on this one so I just had a I, I feel like me and this palette are having a little sort of um moment with each other and just yeah it's making me really appreciate project panning but the progress is slow with it it's this pink blush from this palette that is in this project pan this was in my suitcase with London so although the progress is slow anyway it's probably like extra slow this month <laughs> Um, but I will show you the cutaways and see if you can see any visible progress. I do think, see in fairness, I don't think the cutaways really show it, but I feel like it's getting slightly flatter and I know, as you can see obviously, I've panned these three. Um, so I know from working with these powders sometimes the progress seems really, really slow and then all of a sudden you sort of seem to start making really big strides with them. So I think, like, um, especially this side here, I think I'm really like flattening it down and like working down in the product and like although it doesn't ever seem to feel like it becomes smaller I feel like maybe one day I will like go to put my blush on and I'll stroke my brush over that and like a whole chunk of it will leave like you know will just be away and be used up so that that's where my thought process is with this although it's slow and it's not the most inspiring to watch you know I'm using it consistently other than when it was in a suitcase and lost luggage for like three and a bit weeks. I'm okay with it. Happy to keep using it basically. I have to update you on is my Shantikai highlight. My goal when I put this in, you'll see in the cutaways from the original product, it had a beautiful embossing on it. I just wanted to make visible progress. I have totally smoothed down that embossing, so I feel like basically I've hit the goal, but I'm just keeping it in the project, going to keep using it. Not particularly bothered if I hit pan or not this year. I had a highlight in my project pan last year. If you watched that project pan again, I'll link it up in the eye if you want to see like a full completed project pan from last year. You know, it took me absolutely ages to get pan on that highlight, so I feel like that put me in a better kind of place for managing my expectations of putting this one in this year. And this was like brand new. I got this for Christmas last year, whereas the one that I had in last year's project pan wasn't even like a brand new highlight and it still took me all year to hit pan on it. So I'm not necessarily expecting to hit pan, but so I'm not expecting to hit pan necessarily. I have made progress on it. I've definitely changed it since the start of the year and I'm happy to just keep working on it and see where we end up by the end of the year with it. I 
I know I say this every video, my neighbour is doing work next door. I swear to God, at some point, this work is going to be finished. Like, it might take 10 years at the rate it's going at, but it will be finished one day. But um, th the sun is setting and I'm losing the light, so I've been waiting all day to film this and I really can't wait any longer. So I'm sorry if you can hear that, but hopefully you can and we can just push through. A product I'm really happy with the progress on is my Colourpop Mythic Journey Lip Gloss. So this, I said by the last one, I thought I would have to stop it out by this um, update, which I do. I have taken the stop it out. So we are really on the absolute kind of last dregs of this product. I think by the next update it will be finished. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. I have started my 13 by Halloween project pan and I've got lip glosses in that. And I think that has slowed this down a little bit. I think if I didn't have that going on side by side I might have actually finished this one by this update but the stopper is out so great progress between last update and this one and by the next one I think this will be done and I also have already finished all the gloss in this project so I'm feeling really good about my lip gloss, lip gloss usage this year. Smashing those goals. <laughs> foundation today so I've shaken it up so you can't really see the line but you will see the line in the cutaways. This is my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. It's been discontinued and as I say every update I think the reason NARS discontinued this is because if you have this foundation it lasts you about 10 years. Um, you know you can see from the markings in this like I use this so consistently and it moves so slowly but do you know what it's moving? It's It's totally fine we're making progress, we'd make way more progress than if I hadn't put this in this project and yeah, we'll, we'll just, it'll take how long it takes. I've got a lot less left than I would have if I hadn't put it in the project. I'm feeling good about it so we'll keep going. The only thing I would say about it, I might, you'll see, I've somebody had actually suggested I use washi tape to mark my perfumes so that I don't have to mark the bottles and I might use washi tape on this going forward because I feel like I have to remake these marks every two minutes. I do use a permanent marker but I don't know, something about the, the glass on this, it doesn't seem to stick so yeah I might use washi tape for the next update and try and copy the marks over and use that going forward but yeah if this is where we are like halfway through I maybe won't finish the foundation within this year but I'll definitely make a lot more progress and hopefully finish it early next year if not this year so feeling good. <laughs> mentioned my perfume there so let's move on to perfume next. My Chanel Le Leon perfume is in this uh, project and you can see I've actually used it a little bit since I even marked it so this is the first update that I have used washi tape so there's only one marking on it which is my August update marking and um, so I did take these cutaways last Saturday but I couldn't film it till this Saturday so there's maybe a little bit more use on some things since the cutaways but the cutaways were taken on the 6th of August which is the first Saturday of the month which is when I do my cutaways for this project. I absolutely love this perfume even though I don't have the washi tape markings I know I've definitely been using it and making progress and I'm really not that bothered about making much more progress with this. I know as soon as I finish this I will just want to repurchase it and I absolutely cannot do that because perfume has become a bit of a problem category for me looking at my inventory so um, I definitely won't be repurchasing this as soon as I finish it up, if I finish it up within this project. So do you know what, like I'm just going to keep using it and I, I love using it, it's such a joy to use. But I'm not bothered about like finishing this within the project or anything like that. 
but I do love it. It's so, so beautiful. And I'm glad I put it in this year and, you know, have really got to enjoy the process of using it. <laughs> perfume related product in my project is my Mon Guerlain shower gel so you can see I made a little bit of progress not very much um, but you know what progress is progress and by sort of extension I've also got my Mon Guerlain uh, body lotion in there which I don't mark because this is kind of just a bonus product it's really this that I want to use up um, but I think I'm going to finish this within the project no problem at all. Again, I'll have made way more progress on this than I would have if I hadn't put it in the project. So we're moving through it and that's what counts. A product I'm really, really pleased with my progress. A, pro nine o'clock this morning. That started. It's seven o'clock. It's not stopped all day. He's got a friend over, so there's not even been like a lunch break. Right. A product I'm really, really pleased with my progress on is this one from Davines, the Liquid Spell. Um, look how much I've used since the last update. I don't, I don't really know why I seem to have like gone through loads of it. I don't feel like I, I didn't wash my hair any more than normal. But yeah, I have seemed to use a lot more of this in the last month. So really, really pleased with that. Looking at where it's at, like I don't think I'm going to be finished it by the next update. Even though if I did the same as I did last month, although I suppose it was July five week month, is that maybe what? Maybe that's why. But yeah, like I feel like basically if I did what I did last month, I would have this finished by next month. I'm not bothered about having it finished, but I feel like that's given me such a boost looking at how much I used in the last month, looking at what's left. This is going to be finished within the project, no problem. And I was totally doubting that at some point. So that's the nice thing about the project pan journey is you know you you doubt yourself and then you know your confidence comes back up and your ability I mean it's like it's using product up it's not really abilities is it but it is what it is um so I'm really really pleased with that progress and absolutely sure that I'll finish this within the project which feels great <laughs> penultimate product my MAC concealer I'll show you in the cutaways I have totally so I'd hit pan I think by like side pan by the last update and I have been widening that and I'm really really pleased again I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that I'm going to finish this within the project I really really like this concealer although it's like a pot concealer rather than a liquid one it's really really creamy like I've used it under my eyes totally confident that I will be able to finish this within the project <laughs> and the very last product that I got to update you on is my lipstick now this is a really strange one I feel like so I feel like this looks really really different to how it did in the last update I feel like I look at this and it looks like I've made loads of progress but in my markings I've really not so you'll see the marking like moved by a tiny inch and that kind of makes sense because it was in my case so I haven't had it to work on as much as I usually would but I just I don't know I was sort of looking at it and I thought that looks really used compared to how it did and I don't know if maybe I just hadn't quite taken note of it um, correctly last month but I looked at the cutaway 
and like I've definitely if you look at where it says Guerlain on it like I've definitely gone into that embossing properly now in a way that I was sort of just at the tip of it before um but yeah either way I've got use out of this lipstick not as much as I would have liked because it's been in a case and lost luggage but I've got it back and I'm going to keep using it and I love being able to use my Guerlain cases because they are so so beautiful so really glad that I put it in the project and my goal for this was actually to be into the embossing which I now am at so I've hit that goal as such um, but I don't feel quite ready to like call it a day and move on um, I do have a lipstick in my 13 by Halloween project pan so I do think that will slow this down just a little bit but I'm happy to kind of keep it in for now and just see how much more progress we make I'd actually maybe like to switch the goal to say that by the end of the project I'd like that embossing to be complete like I'd like the lipstick to be below the embossing so that it, it's totally used and gone um, so I think that's what I'm going to switch that goal to and see if we hit it within the project <laughs> Anyway, those are all the products that are in my 2022 project pan. Thank you so much for watching this update. I'm sorry if there's been hammering and drilling and all that in the background, but as I say, the sun is setting outside, so I didn't want you to have a super dark video. I just had to get on and film it and make the best of, of the situation because sometimes that's what you gotta do is just make the best of things as you can. So thank you for watching and um, thank you for spending this time with me and I will see you in my next video, which will hopefully not have as much background noise. Fingers crossed. Let's manifest it, guys. Put it out into the universe. His work is going to be finished soon and we will have peaceful YouTube videos. That is the plan. <laughs> see you then. Bye.